What's up, Juice Moose crowd? Giving you something a little different. I thought I'd give you my two fucking cents on the Mr. Olympia this year. I'll make this short as fuck if I can. Starting with Flex Lewis. Guy's unbeatable, man. I mean, there's a couple things about his physique I don't like, but I'm being picky. Like, that guy from the back is just so solid. It's just amazing. And I think, you know, with without having to make that weight anymore. I mean, we all know he's gotta be weighing like 225 on stage after he fills back out after weigh-ins. I see him doing the open, I mean, easily weighing, you know, 240, maybe even 245. At his height, that's just a lot of thick, dense muscle. And I think he's gonna look really good and do really good in the open. Uh, Roland Winkler. One of my favorite, favorite bodybuilders. Like, again, being picky, you know, from the front, he's a little, you know, square in the waist and the quads a little bit. But just so much dense muscle in that man's arms. It's just, you know, his side chest shot's amazing because his arms are just so thick. And, I mean, his quads are good from the side, too. I and mean, the guy's just, the guy's amazing. Big Rami, I'm a Big Rami fan. I like Mass. I was a Jay Cutler fan. I was definitely a Ronnie Coleman fan. And before that, a Dorian Yates fan. Wasn't a big Lee Haney fan, but that was right around the time I was kind of getting into bodybuilding for me. But uh, what does Rami have to do to win? I don't think he's ever going to win. This is my opinion. He's just too fucking big. He has a lot of mass. I mean, he's what, 290 on stage? You know, he's, well, what was Ronnie Coleman? Ronnie Coleman was like 296, 286, something like that. But Ronnie had the ability to get those feathers in his chest, the striations in his chest. You know, think high green, striations in the quads, just amazing striations, deep. Jay Cutler on his right quad had him as well. Um, I don't think that Rami's going to be able to get that. And I'll explain why I think that. This is my opinion. Just my opinion. You see, I have nerve damage in the shoulder, right? In the brachial plexus area. So I have no front delt, very, very small side delt, and no rear delt. So as a result... I've got this really thick, disgusting, ugly tricep muscle. And when I get down to stage leanness, let me explain one more thing. All my pressing movements, there's no shoulder helping out. Whether it's bench press movements, incline movements, it's my tricep that's helping out. It's to stabilize your muscle. So as a result, it's grown to a bigger than this one. So when I get really lean is my point. I don't get those little feathers across here and through the horseshoe. This side, I'll get them right here and you know a little bit in the horseshoe, not too much, because maybe that's a genetic characteristic. I don't know. I'm just speculating here, okay? But this side doesn't get it. It's just it just gets it just stays like a big ugly piece of fucking meat. Now I'm not saying Rami's ugly because he's not. I love his physique. But I think that his muscles are just so big and thick that he doesn't have the ability to cut them up. Like Roland, like, like Winkler has on his, on his arms. Or Jay Cutler used to get in his triceps. Or like when Ronnie Coleman did this pose, the prayer pose. And all his chest was just shredded, just lined, lined, lined. And I'm not sure if, if Rami's, it's like looking at a steak, you know, there's no cross fiber in it. It's just one, just fiber. There's not any cross fiber action going on. Maybe he needs more maturity too. I don't know. So my speculation is I'm not sure we'll ever see a diced, chopped up Rami. And, you know, that's what it takes. It takes that in the quads. It takes that into the, uh, the chest. It takes that in the... the triceps, takes that into the uh, the glutes, 
I mean, that's, that's when you've got that dry, chopped up, grainy muscle, you're going to win shows. I also think that if he lived in the United States, he would make a lot of money guest posting. <laughs> so that's really all I got to say about Romney. I, I absolutely love that guy. I love, love his physique, no homo. I think that he's a phenomenal bodybuilder to do what he does. And, and he looks, I mean, he dwarfs everybody. He looks like a cartoon character up there. And I, I like that. Aesthetics, that's great. Our new Olympia champion, Flexitron, he's got that. Uh, to pick him apart, he just needs a bigger back from the back and the front. I mean, he's needs a bigger, thicker back. But he's going to do that. He knows. He knows what he has to work on. Now, Phil Heath, I think from the back, he won most of the shots. It's just, again, my opinion. His side shots look really good, but it's that gut, you know. Uh, he was a little watery in the leg still, but that lower ab, I don't know what's going on down there. I don't know if it's something he can fix. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what's going on down there with the, that stomach just hangs out. And he got a pass last year, and he got a lot of flack last year. He caught a lot of shit for that. Whether it's, you know, Louis Marco or whoever, I mean, he caught a lot of shit. And I thought, there's no way he's coming back in 2018 with any stomach issues. You know, if he has a hernia and he's going to get it fixed, yada, 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 whatever the situation is. I thought, there's no way he's going to come back with that. Most of these guys, after getting that much criticism fix the problem and just look absolutely phenomenal. Now, 2019, he's going to come back. He's going to be no longer champion. He's going to have more fire under his ass. Uh, there's no reason for him to come into the, the night show on Saturday night looking 20% off and pulling it together at the, at the finals. I mean... He's always kind of done that, but he was really off this time. I think that he needs to go back to the drawing board and re-strategize. I think he's, what, 39 years old? You know, he's not quite, you know, in his 40s yet, so his time is coming. I know he's always said that he wanted 10 titles. Uh, he's going to fall short. Age may catch him before he can get all 10. Will he do what Jay Cutler did? Will he come back and win his title back? Um, most people are saying no. I'm saying don't discount that guy. I mean, he may be an asshole, but he works hard. He is gifted. We all know that. And uh, I think that 2019 is setting up to be one hell of a fucking Olympia show. I was kind of sad to see Dexter, you know, not up there in the mix. I thought he looked, you know, pretty good. But everybody's good in pictures and the hotel lighting you can't judge a show based on that. You can't judge a show, you know, based on hotel pictures or magic mirror pictures on Oxygen Gym. But those are the guys I just want to talk about. You know, congratulations to the new champ. Congratulations to Winkler getting third. Flex, I look forward to seeing him up there with the big boys, you know, where he can collect a real fucking paycheck and not that uh, subclass. That's all I got for you guys today. I just give you my two cents. I'm not going to go over all the guys. There's just too many of them. You guys, you know, can watch other videos and get real commentary from real professionals. This is just my opinion as an outsider on what's going on with Rami. And, and I think that Phil will come back next year. I'm not saying he's going to win, but he's going to come back with some type of vengeance. I think he's going to, you know, I hope. I hope he comes back with some fire in his ass and a stomach under control. <laughs> With that, peace out. You guys take care. I got some uh, some stuff coming for you soon. I always say that. I'm sorry, but I, I do. <laughs> you guys take care.